A big part of Lafouche's culture, of course, is that Cajun food. And so we wanted to visit Chef John Fulce's Culinary Institute at Nickel State University, where they're raising the next generation of chefs. So we spoke with one of the freshmen who gave us a cute cooking demonstration. Well, we could not come to the Chef John Fulce Culinary Institute and not meet one of its fabulous students. So I'm here with Carmela Basto. She is a first year student at the school and you're making some delicious food for us today. Yes, Thanks for joining us. Of course, thank you all for having me. What are we making today? So we're making crawfish chini. It's gonna be eggplant medallions okay. that are lightly pan fried. And then we're gonna have a lobster base cream sauce with um, sauteed bell peppers, onions, and crawfish tails. It sounds amazing. Where do we start? So I already made the sauce over here, but we're gonna remake it to to teach y'all how awesome. to make it. And what do we start with? So we're gonna start with eight ounces of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have two tablespoons of butter. Awesome. And then we're gonna have about a tablespoon of this base. And what is the base? It's, um, you could do a sh uh, lobster or shrimp base. Awesome. And it gives it that nice flavor. And then we're going to add some green onions. It smells absolutely divine. It is really good. So and some chopped parsley. So how did you parsley. even get into cooking? What made you love cooking? So I grew up in a family restaurant. My fa family owns a restaurant on the North Shore. And um, I just always admired it. You know, I never got that kind of spark from any other industry except for the hospitality industry. So I always knew that that's kind of like where I belonged. That's super cool. So does the whole family cook? The whole house is just cooking? So no, my dad, my dad is a chef. So I really got it from him. He's been my biggest mentor, but we've all worked there. I grew up like my whole family worked together growing up. And that's cool because you've seen both sides because it's one thing to like to cook at your house and then another to turn it into a business. And you want to go in that direction. Yes, ma'am. What's your ultimate goal? to own a family restaurant like my dad one day. Wonderful. Carry on the legacy. And this yes. school seems like it will help you do that. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. You know, and this is, you know, the only in-state school that you get a four-year culinary degree. And that's what I love because I didn't want to go out of state. I wanted to stay in state. And I'm glad that they offer such a great program. Yeah. And so many different options and concentrations for what you can study. So what is your course of study? So I have um, two concentrations right now, business and professionalism. And so I take, you know, I take all the professional side of the classes. So I'll take anything from regular cooking basics to meat fab, grand manger. And then with my business classes, I'll take like economics, accounting, statistics, things like that, like the nice. business side of it. Yeah, so you can handle it all. Yes. Okay, why don't we get this baby plated? Yes. Show me what it looks like all done. See, thanks to TV magic, this is how we cook on TV. It's done in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> all right, you can just pour the crawfish in there. Oh. Yummy. And what is your favorite thing to cook? Do you have some staples you go to? Um. Yeah, I love to cook pasta. Mm. Pasta. I think it's since I'm so uh, I'm Italian, I just enjoy doing that. Homemade pasta is the best. Oh, you cannot go wrong with pasta. No, and it's so easy to make, but so good. It, there you go. Uh, for you, easy. It's easy for me when I cut the pack open. <laughs> so, you know. Do you ever get tired of cooking? No, never. Really? Never. It's so enjoyable. You know, it's such a fun thing to do. Yeah. Put this right here. Perfect. And what's it like going to a school with such a legendary chef's name on it, Chef Fulce? I know he's around sometimes, even yeah. though he's super busy. It's it's awesome, you know, and he's such a great man. He's such a great storyteller. Just hearing him, you know, talk about everything that he's done and how he's impacted other people's lives. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah, you, you bring up a great point. He is such a great storyteller. Is that part of what they teach you guys in school, that it's not just about going in the kitchen and making great food? Right. It's about, you know, doing what you love is really important. And he, you know, he never lets us forget that, that it's about, you know, serving people. But it's also about doing what you love so much, which is, you know, such a great thing. Awesome. So what does your day look like? How early do you have to wake up and are you in the kitchen every day? I'm not in the kitchen every day, no. But um, for school purposes, mm -hmm. I, um, I have about two or three labs a week, depending on what kind of classes. Like this semester, I took um, soup stocks and sauces, and then I took um, baking. And then I also TA'd for Chef Randy. And I did that after my own lab. So I was anywhere from about 12 to 15 hours in the kitchen a week on top of you know work and school. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. But you know, it's enjoyable and it keeps you busy. There you go. 
And this is the final product? Yes, ma'am, it is. This is gorgeous. Thank you. I think you're ready. I'm gonna graduate you right now. I have no <laughs> say in this, but I would say that you're ready for the real world. What would you say to someone watching this who's young, who loves to play around in the kitchen, but would never think of going to culinary school? I would say try, you know? It's such a fun experience, and we, here at Nichols, we offer such an amazing program, and I enjoy coming to it. And you know, when I was younger, I never thought that this is where I would be now, but I'm really glad that I followed in the footsteps that I did. So I think that they should try it for sure. It's awesome. definitely worth the, the shot. Well, Carmela, I can't wait to eat at your restaurant one day. 